Right, he was the big man on campus, of course, at Southridge High School in the uh, early to mid-2000s. It's Jaron Mastrude, formerly in the NFL. Uh, so in high school, when you were uh, the Skyhawks with your dad, Brad Mastrude, when he coached you guys. You were a quarterback, a defensive end. You go to Kansas State, you're a tight end. You go to the NFL, you're a tight end. Uh, how did life and football carry you through to the kind of full circle thing? Uh, I just liked the game a lot, loved to play, always loved to hit, and I was probably one of the few kids that said, you know, I want to be a tight end. And my whole life I was trying to play tight end, but we always seemed to have an injury at quarterback, and that led me having to come back to quarterback each year. And uh, it was probably the best bet for the team for me to play quarterback. Yeah. But tight end was always what I wanted to play and continue on at, and I felt like I had the best chance to move forward at that position. So. It was a good decision. So it works yeah. out for you. It's so about five years in the NFL, uh, bouncing around, uh, spent some time with the Dolphins, with uh, the Raiders. We certainly remember you with them. Uh, out of the league now, but moving on to life after football, but still kind of remaining in the game. About the one-year anniversary here for Pacific Neurotherapy, uh, a company you have with your brother who won that state title at Southridge yeah. in 08. Uh, to speak to us about uh, it, it really accelerates the healing process and if you're coming off surgeries or dings for a lot of kids getting back to football camp here in the fall it'll get you back on the field quicker than a normal just relaxation and take time away yeah so uh i've obviously gone through a lot of bumps and bruises injuries surgeries i've had about four of those and really going through the rehab process and sitting out was one thing that killed me the most i mean the injury itself is a physical setback but the mental and emotional setback of that injury and watching your teammates do what you love to do and you're it's eating at you on the inside when you want to get out there and play with them and you're just being told you're out for a month, you're out for five weeks or you're out two weeks even. Mm -hmm. uh, finding a way to overcome those injuries and setbacks uh, with some other guys that I play with in the NFL, I wanted to bring that opportunity and therapeutic technique back here to Oregon and really help out the guys in my community that, hey, I just want to play in my high school career or I want to play in high school and get a scholarship in college. Can't really get one of those when you're on the sideline or you're in college and want to go to the pros or you're already a pro athlete want to stay there or if you're an adult with chronic pain and just don't want to live that way anymore and don't want to have the aches and pains the back pain the knee pain we can get rid of that in 10 days or less 10 days or less it's like you're selling a pitch here Pacific <laughs> Neurotherapy it's off I-5 and 217 in Lake Oswego and you're with with your brother Kellen and yeah. another uh, his longtime buddy that also played at Southridge yeah. um, a year in business though what's the what's the feedback been and I know you you range from from uh, adults older people to the kids and again we're getting back into fall camp here yeah. and they don't want to miss tryouts they don't want to miss two a days they don't want to miss a Friday night football as well there's mm -hmm. only so many in your career yeah. it's a way to get a path quicker back uh, to the field yeah exactly uh, we obviously set out because we wanted to initially help all the guys that we went and we were in their shoes before. We were high school athletes. I mean, like you said, my brother and Kalen won the state championship. They were first team All-State players. Mm -hmm. You know, they know what it takes to get there and succeed and you need to play every week and really build on your game. And even though you might be playing a lesser opponent, you really need to improve week to week because the best teams are getting better each week in hopes of winning that 14th game of the season for a state title. Um, coming up for training camp, you don't want to enter the season with something that's already holding you back because there's no time to rest throughout the whole season. And uh, we'd really love to see guys that, you know, want to end the season on the right note, especially people that are going to be juniors and seniors, that this is a great opportunity and time for them to really put their best foot forward and get on the radar for some of these colleges. This was a way that really helped me improve my game. So when I came to the line and got my stance, I wasn't playing on one leg or dragging one leg along because of the knee pain. I was able to use my body altogether and put my best foot forward because you can't block a guy like J.J. Watt or Mario Williams or yeah. DeMarcus Ware one-legged. You need all you got and then Maybe some to get the job done. Four legs, whatever. Yeah, yeah, you need something. Maybe yeah. another teammate. Um, yeah. But yeah, I just want to provide something that a bunch of other guys I was playing with, that they use it week in and week out, uh, bring it back here and really share some of the same technology and therapeutic techniques that they were using, I was using, that work at the highest level back here with the young athletes and adults to help everyone be healthier and go enjoy your high school career, college career, or the great weather here in Oregon. Yeah, just get outside and be healthy about it. Yeah. Jared Mastered, uh, a guy that uh, came back home. You could have lived anywhere. You, you lived in Miami, Chicago, Tampa Bay. Oakland. Oakland. <laughs> here, here you are back here in, yeah. in the Beaverton area, so I appreciate you coming back. And again, uh, the one-year anniversary coming up here, Pacific Neurotherapy. Uh, thanks for coming in, man. Yeah, thanks for having me.